Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We're back with more The Lord of the Rings Living God game. I uh, got some quick news. Um, today is September 5th and they have released a new patch. Let's quickly go over it and see what kind of changes they have. So uh, it's, it's a little quick short one. I'll go through it and then we can check actual some of the changes here. So the first one is, is um, they updated the server memory management and fixed issues to improve server speed and improve disconnection issues. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the, the last couple times we have played after we end a round or something, it says disconnected or something. So hopefully that's fixed. Um, the next one is a daily challenge handling update. You gain one challenge per day. Our alert to which earn confirm to accept. Uh, I mean, we've already had that. That's weird. Um, ultra wide initial implementation life. Oh wait, what is my thing? 10 allies with guard. Play 10 hours ago. It's pretty easy. So I haven't played it in a couple days, so I don't understand why I don't have three. Maybe they like redid the whole thing and they got rid of the ones I just had. Um, changes to victory screen setup. We'll be implementing multiple visual screens in the next update. Okay. Oh, this one's pretty interesting here. 64 deck slots implemented. Ooh, let's see if they actually have that. Because right now the limit was 30 and we ran out one time. Um, during one of the thingies here. So let's see, 64 question mark? Let's see if there's actually a 64 thing in here. 30, um, I don't even know how I like. Okay, I don't know. It says 64 deck slots implemented, but I don't know how to, maybe you just go all the way up to 60. I don't know, hold on, hold the phone here. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of cards in here and we'll see if it just goes above 60 or above 30, if anything. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is a really good deck. Oh, crapper. Because I feel like a 64 is kind of a lot, even for, you know, for a campaign deck. Uh, so here's the deal. Let's see if it goes over 30. Probably not. Your deck is full. So I don't know what they mean by uh, implemented 64. Maybe, maybe later campaigns. Um, let's see. Fix missing back button after entering Palantir of the Vault. Okay. Fix some edge case issue bugs. No, I didn't have a problem with that. Um, let's see here. Players could no longer receive multiple issues of the core set. Interesting. And they fixed missing check mark when Sauron displays cards in some instances. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I don't see where that uh, 64 thing is. I mean, there's no thing to like change it up. Oh, by the way, they did give me back my valor that I spent. Um, so we originally had 8,000 and then it was 3750 to, um, to, to unlock one of the things. So I should have got 3750 back, but I don't think I ever got a thousand plus more. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and do the next campaign that we have to play. And, uh, believe it or not, two left and then we're done. And then we just have to wait until they add more stuff. So, um, I'm playing on easy. So we can get through it because we suck balls. Um, your pursuit of Bilbo has brought you to a tower hidden deep in Mirkwood. You must be careful not to draw the attention of every foul creature that calls this place the dark home. So I'm going to switch over to um, this deck called Cappy. We are going to be using not Aragorn, but we're using Tom Took, who has the ability of blocking a single attack. Now I was doing a little bit of playthroughs. I, I went to go. I went ahead and did this one on normal using this group, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this on normal, and we'll see what happens. Can't wait for co-op and all that other stuff. I want some Palantir views, by the way. So let's go. Aragorn, uh, take a bat seek for this episode. It's a loading. You fought your way into the forest of Mirkwood to rescue the famous Bilbo Baggins. After fighting spiders and bears and meeting a strange creature by the name of Smeagol, you arrive at a ruined structure deep in the forest. The old ruin operates as a staging point for mysterious slave caravans managed by a host of orcs. You believe the old hobbit is imprisoned in the tower. You manage to sneak into the structure, but without warning you are betrayed by Smeagol, triggering an ancient mechanical trap the contemptible creature drops you into a rancid basement. Knocked unconscious by falling debris, you finally come to your senses. By falling debris, come to your senses. Meanwhile, Ulfthak's room is as dark as his mood. He tears into the cold meat, juices gushing down his scarred jaw. Things are afoot the great orc cannot explain. Attacks in the forest. A ravaged patrol, 
the storage room mysteriously emptied. Ufthak grunts and angrily throws his empty drinking horn against the wall, where it splinters to join a pile of dry bones and other detritus on the floor. Breathing heavily from climbing the stairs, Ufthak's mewling steward, Slagged, worms his thin frame into the room. Must the goblin always be clutching one of his parchments? What do you want, worm? Ufthak licks dry the bone, and it joins the drinking horn. A visitor has come, Ufthak! Slagged lisps, and adjusts his cloak nervously. Some dull to die. Fear is not a common emotion in orcs, and Ufthak considers himself uncommonly brave. Even so, he cannot halt the tendrils of dread that shoots down his spine. The mouth of the cold one has come. Oh, I skipped the pit! Oh my god, I'm sorry, guys, I skipped it. Hold on, hold on, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Let's get, I skipped it. I skipped it. GG. Sorry, guys. Yikes. You fought your way. Right. You force your bruised body to stand, head throbbing like a dwarven feast. Your garments are soaked and dripping from lying in stagnant water. Now, where has that blighted Smeagol dumped you? The ceiling above must have retreated to its former position. Through a crack in the wall, moonlight paints the dank cellar in a bloom of grey light. Your feet splash as they move, for the nearby swamp has laced its way into the tower's foundations. Stale water and light-starved cattails fill most of the cellar. White tadpoles skitter about in the water, and thin lizards bob their heads on the slimy walls. The far end of the cellar is hidden in shadow. Did the shadow just move? It rolls and ripples before emerging into the moonlight. It's not a shadow at all, but some vast slug. It extends its beer moth head and eye tentacles towards you, snorts a drizzle of fetid saliva, and proceeds to tug its enormous body under itself. It seems to have made up its mind. You are food. All right, so we got um, <coughs> Betrayer Smeagol, and now we have to survive. All right, so with this deck, I tried to put a lot of uh, threats, uh, threat-resistant cards and stuff like that. Thanks to Tom took, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. Looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Get rid of one of these. I like round shield. Getting block early as quick as possible is amazing. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. That's this is a good hand. I like this a lot. Okay, so what is the goal here? Defeat the giant slug. Okay, let's see what all my creatures are. So this is the giant slug. He deals one damage when attacked. Oh man, so he has like permanent counter attack. He gains one when he attacks. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, and mu muck adder attacks with the lowest HP. So he'll be going for this guy. I don't know if it's going to be right away. That's a lot of damage though. Rock adder one three nothing and a bat swarm. Uh, if I kill it. Uh, I think 2-1 bats jump in the field. So let's look at my things here. Crumbling Pillar, your next attack exhausts the defender. Um, gain 1 for each ally in play. That's good. Oh, that's amazing. Restore a hero to full health. What do you got here for 5 more here? Uh, restore every enemy to full. If none, then 2 orc enter replay. Oh my god, you gotta hit him before that, which will probably happen. Um, open the cage, a river troll enters play. And 42, Mouth of Dole enters play, so lots of enemies just keep jumping in, that's really terrible. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do, this is easy, so I think that he's going to attack with this. I mean, I, I don't think he'll attack with a rock adder first, but we're going to use Tom Tuck's special ability. I will exhaust him, and the next can next attack is cancelled, so here we go. And, yep, he attacked with one of the strong creatures, feels good. I don't know why there was a zero here when he did that. Okay, so if he attacks next, it'll go from here. We don't have a three cost attack. So, <clears throat> what's this one do again? This one, um, my next attack exhausts the player. Okay, we're gonna grab a block right away. And I'm gonna put this on... Tom Took. Because he, he might get attacked right now. So we wanna lower, yep, lower it down to two. So that was good. Now we have a three. Now we can go ahead and destroy one. I don't wanna kill this thing right away. Um, and this thing is just the one, so I probably want to either kill kill one of these right now, and it'll probably be this one. Let's destroy that one. Even though these guys get an extra turn, I want to destroy more of a threat. Gain Stalwart. Oh, did he put it on this? Oh, he put it on this thing. That's very interesting. Um, okay. So, gain one attack. I'm going to put one attack on my lady here. 
And then she'll just run into there soon. Okay, that's good. So, yeah. So, I don't want him to attack twice, so we finish him off right now. Bink. Alright, now the river bat enters play, but we have the... We have this thing here. We have the Galdoran Archer. We can go ahead and get rid of this now so it doesn't have an action next turn. And that's it for my mana. And that's it for... Well, he has one mana left. Um, Gain one threat. That's not good. Okay, so, so far, I, this wasn't the worst turn at all. I think we should just uh, attack and uh, end our turn. I think we could just leave this on the field. It's just the 1-3 that wastes a turn. It's not that crazy. Um, <clears throat> so let's go. New round. My lady has been hit a lot. She doesn't have blocks, so I think we'll definitely have herself heal. Um, we'll do that right now. Ba -ba -da -da. Ooh, upkeep restore one on self. Dude, that's really useful. Um, so I definitely got to be using that this turn, which means we won't be putting any other things on the field. Um, I mean, we could put this on the field, but this, the earlier you get this thing, the freaking better. At least that's how I see it. Okay, so we want to wait until someone gets attacked, so Gimli gets the buff. My lady here. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to ignore this thing. And we're going to... I think he's going to attack with this again. So, I'm just going to keep on doing Tom Took ability. Yep, there we go. AI. Easy AI is a little predictable. And then we can go ahead and do a self-preservation here. I'll do it on my lady. <clears throat> okay, easy, easy peasy. Let's start doing a random attack into here. He has two HP, uh, two mana, so I want to see if he... Yep, he threw something on the ground. I didn't know it was going to be a 1-1. One, one. Otherwise, I would have saved that into there. So we'll go ahead and get rid of it. He has one more mana. Let's see what he does. Treachery. Now, this is not good because this is going to happen next turn. Restore every enemy to full HP. So it doesn't really matter that I attack this into here. So we should. We, now we should kill this thing, but I kind of don't want to. So we're going to... I'm going to use my... Oh, dang it. Do I want to wait? I think we'll wait on the advanced warning, all right? No, we'll use it. But yeah. Oh, after you play a card, lose a random card from your hand. Oh, dude, that guy was good. Oh, man. All right. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter to attack into here. And I want to keep this on the field because it's a wasted turn. But uh, it's, it's going to heal up. So I'm just going <laughs> to... Weirdly enough, I'm just going to do this. I don't know if it's the best play, but I'll do it. Because it just makes sense, right? Because he's just going to heal the upkeep. So don't attack that. And then we one attack. I can handle the one attack. So, yep. If no HP is restored to orcs. So there we go. Entered. Upkeep. Restore HP to Lavilbo here. And she has upkeep on herself. So it's really good having those upkeeps. I like them a lot. Okay, let's begin here. So the next one is 5 for threat. And remember, every time this baboon here attacks, he gains one, which is really annoying. Um, so I can do this. Once again, I think we just freaking do this block it yeah he just keeps going for it okay now i don't want to let's start putting some stuff on the board this is a good character hmm restore two to somebody nine and twelve well no one needs the two uh, this one is next exasis on the defender all right i'm just gonna throw this on the field My eyes. if i need a uh a battle cry i have this one what's this exhausted x ally he had another one on the field oh, whatever Okay, uh, he has two left. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and do this. He has two mana, let's see what else. End of round, gain one, threat. Oh my god, this guy really gets a lot of threat on the field, which is kind of annoying. Uh, what's this that, What's this thing he has on him? End of round, gain, oh, that's just starts. I don't know if I should, if I want to start. Gain one for each ally I play. That's actually really freaking useful. I should, I should work towards that. Because, holy crap, we can get that, like, now. Oh, Blight Patrol. Blight Patrol. Yeah, I exhausted it. That's good. I mean, that didn't matter because I was about to kill it. Yeah, but getting one for each ally in play, it's really going to, you know, swing the tides of things. So I think we should get that as soon as possible. Um, we are really, you know, playing this one up, honestly. Um, okay, we'll save our mana. Okay, let's go again. Jeez. I know I'm not rushing the kill. I'm not rushing. I'm trying to like, I'm, I'm trying to do a strategy which is like gain the upper hand here. So I'm gonna do that. Gain the upper hand before I move on. Look at that. Oh, we got a freaking round shield here. Once again, you do this, and there you go. Every time he attacks, though, that's not good. But I feel like I can handle these. River troll enters play. Okay, so no one's in immediate danger. I can. I'll put the round shield on. And this is gain block, so I can. I'm gonna put this on Gimli here. 
I want to buff up all of my heroes beforehand. Okay, now I'm going to do um, this. So this is going to be five. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five mana. That's really good. Hey, Surge, he gets to go again. Uh oh, he's going to destroy this guy. That's not good. Darn. Well, I don't know. It's going to be Surge. That's a feels bad, man. I could throw one of these guys on the field really quick. And then I can get another one. I think we're going to do the archer on the field. And we'll throw it on this guy. I want to start doing a little bit of damage now. So he might pass. He's passing. Okay, so I will kill this. But let me go ahead and get this for each ally. Ooh. Wait, so these guys are heroes. They don't count for allies, right? These guys count as allies. So maybe next turn I throw out this one before I do it. Because these guys are heroes. So I don't think they count. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this, this, and then this. Because uh, I think a river troll is about to jump on the freaking field. So we'll do this. And Arwen gets hit one back. I think, uh, okay. It's okay. Not a bad turn. Okay. Alright. So a river troll enters prey. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Let's heal this guy. Want to hear our allies? Sauron loses one mana and all that good stuff. Okay, this is upkeep or store one. That's a little annoying. Okay, so wandering took. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Boom. Ooh, zero. Okay, so he's going to definitely do this unless I block. Thing is though, I hope he attacks with this next. We're gonna go ahead and guard. Yep, okay, so this guy cannot be killed at the moment on the board, and I can finish him off right here, so I will do that. Okay. Oh, gain two attack. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, thank God it's that thing. Oh, my God. I thought it was going to be something else. Anyway, that's going to do a lot of damage, though. I don't like that. Um, I'm just trying to get the most, you know, mana out of this thing. I'm playing this really slow, I know, but I just want to see what's going on. End of round, gain one. Holy nuts, this guy's going insane. Alright, gain one. Sauron loses one, that doesn't matter. Restore two to a character. Restore two to you, sir. Welcome <clears throat> to Rivendell. I'm just really trying to build up a huge, huge deck here. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm going to... Actually, we could do this. I'll guard. He's passing. Okay, we'll put the Wandering Toucan. I know he doesn't lose one, but I really want to get like the buff here, so as much as we can here. So um, these one, two, three, four. So these are four allies, so I should get plus four. So it's five. That's really good. That's really good. And then gain one. We can save that, can't we? Yeah, we don't really need that. Okay, let's start doing some freaking stuff. So this guy is plus two attack, so I need to defeat him as quick as possible, I guess. Um, he's, he's probably going to get in this last um, thingy right here, but that's okay. We have Gandalf. Oof, Gandalf. I can lose the three threat if I really want, because I don't know what mm, Dol Guldar. I don't know. Dude, okay, we have a big board now. We have a big board. Let's go. I'm ready. Okay, who do we heal? Let's keep healing these minions here. Arwen keeps upkeeping herself. Sauron loses one HP. Enemy loses two. Oh, that's... Oh. Um... Man, dude, every enemy loses two. That's very strong to use. If I use this right now, that's not terrible. And I could actually start doing some stuff. Do I, I, I could save this until the next one, though. Which I might. So this guy is guarding next. So let's go ahead and finish this baboon off. My I'm going to save this attack. It's okay. It's fine. Totally fine with me. Okay, let's start actually wailing on him. <laughs> So we have a good board for the next upcoming one. Plus one range. That's fine with me. Let's do this. Am I going to be able to finish him off this turn? Every ally is reduced to zero. Oh, that's garbage. I wonder how long that lasts. Um, let's see. So two, three, four, five. And then I can do six, seven, eight here. He's in Gandalf. So I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. Yikes. Okay, I'll probably get rid of this one. Because I want... To end this turn now with a good okay board. So we're gonna do one. Because he can't throw anything off on the field. So we wanna do that right now. <clears throat> uh yeah. 
Oh man, throwing Gandalf right now. That's okay. I've 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 put this too much on the field. Okay. It's okay, Gandalf. I know. I know, but we have a lot of mana. We have a lot of mana. Actually, Gandalf could attack this turn, right? So I should draw three cards? Yeah, because Gandalf can attack. So I should draw. Oh hell yeah. So he's like he's going to attack this turn. Let's go ahead and fix up more. Gain an attack. Who wants to gain an attack? G Gimli, Tom Took. He has block, correct? He has block. Any of these heroes would be good. She has the plus one sword. He has the shield. He has the shield. Maybe I'm I'm most I I think I might be using his exhaust more, so I'm gonna put this on on Gimli. This is great. What's oh self-preservation again as well. Who needs that? Uh, who's getting hit a bunch? You have self-preservation. Okay. Now we're gonna do self-preservation on Tom Took. This is great, dude. We're getting a lot of good stuff here. Now we're gonna finish him off so that we can leave the area. Gain one. Oh, we can save that. We can save all that. Awesome, dude. Now we can get out of here. Thank you so much, Gandalf. Okay, we have a good board. Good board. Let's move on to the next one. Hopefully it doesn't destroy all of my upkeeps and stuff. We were able to equip our heroes with a lot of things, which I like. We got two upkeeps, a block. Meanwhile, oh, amazing. A tall figure awaits Ulfak in the tower's main hall. He wears cold hammered black armor, and a black cowl shadows his features except for the unnatural glint in his gray eyes. Ulfak purposefully strides into the hall to stand before the imposing figure. Damned if he'll show the fear he feels. The mouth of Dol Galdor is not fooled, and smiles coolly. Ah, oh, you have message from cold ones? Ufthak snarls, discomforted by the unnatural chill emanating from Dol Galdor's favored messenger. I've written without hold. Sir, I shall be precise. The voice is like frozen stone. I can inform you. That the masters need the promised slaves with haste. The last batch expired faster than anticipated. New prisoners, all here, mouth. Oof, that grunts. My warriors, provision first. Leave for Black Hill next dark. At that moment, the tower rumbles and jolts, as if a great fist had struck its foundations. The enormous slug falls and the walls tremble, sousing the air with an avalanche of grime. Behind a patch of bogland ivy, you discover a narrow staircase and commence to climb the moldy steps at once. While ascending, a clamor can be heard in the tower above, harsh yells, clanging of doors, and the bellows of a great orc. How will you ever get out? The stairs emerge into a derelict alcove, overgrown with cobwebs and moss. It faces a great room, finely decorated of old, but now ruined and forgotten. As the racket of the enemy grows closer, you have no doubt that he'll soon be upon you. Speed may be your only hope. You rush towards a set of oaken doors on the far wall when disaster strikes. As you emerge from the alcove, a troop of orcs slog into the room. They roar in excitement and draw their weapons as more enemies arrive. You are surrounded. I'm surrounded. All right, here we go, boys. Everyone's a little hurt, but I'm going to be just fine. I think we get the upkeep, so it's okay. It says survive for four rounds as you fight your way across the hall to the fall door. Far door. All right. Oh, please let me see. Oh, do they heal? Uh-oh. Uh, 42, he enters play. Oh, God. Jesus. All right, upkeep. I don't even know who I want to upkeep right now. Probably this guy, right? Let's see. Yeah, let's do this guy. This guy might die this turn. Oh, the self upkeep is so useful. I have Gandalf again. It's my second Gandalf of the deck. I have nine cards left. Okay, so this thingy, let's check this out. Uh, cannot engage it. One progress. We just have to survive for four door, four turns. Guard, pursuit, and range. So he follows us if we travel. Um, arrival, every orc gains one. That's pretty garbage. And three eight stalwart deals one damage, one attack. So it's a. Okay, let's see what we got here. This location only implies one progress. That's really useful. Um, your next attack is also defender and seven restore a hero to full health. This hits 45. Um, ooh, fuck enters play. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Every enemy loses two. We're gonna use a spear wall right now. 
And uh, have fun with that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So now we have four. We're going to destroy this guy. I mean, he only has two. This guy is guard. Every orc gains one. Way to get rid of this guard. We can definitely take some attacks now. Let's not worry about that. I'm out of mana. Okay. Stalwart. He's going to get attacked again. So how about we start doing guard? Oh, maybe I want to start doing this. Apply one. Oh, we can do him for the apply one. Let's go ahead and guard. And have these guys attack. Alright, have fun with that. Have fun with this. It's two mana. This is why I'm doing this. I'm leaving him on the field. Uh, let's go ahead and use that here. Boom, 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 boom. Despair. Gain one after enemy attacks. Oh, no. Well, we're going to get this guy soon. I could have waited until maybe Oof Dock enters, but that's a lot of damage. I got rid of uh, eight damage on the board, dude. I think that's okay. Um... Oh man, I really don't want to do anything here yet. I can do the two, then we can get even higher. Higher and higher. If we apply one progress, does this thing show up? Does this guy show up already? Apply one progress, and then it enters ROM. No, because I'm using a different card to apply the progress, right? I think we can go ahead and use the fates here. If he does, if he throws something on the field, okay, gain one block. That's fine. Okay, my next attack is lost the defender. We're gonna apply one progress. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's good. Oof, okay. Oh god. Oh that's right, an orc enter plays. Plus two. Oh no, that oh no. I thought the um oh hold on. What's the thing I, I threw down? I threw down uh, the thingy. Oh, that's not good. I didn't. I didn't know it was. Huh. I thought it was for the whole time. The, the spear wall. Dang. I wonder if the card said anything about it, it lasting only one turn. Because I feel like I would have remembered that. Okay. Reduce a non-unique to zero. Non-unique. So he's unique, as indicated by this thingy here. We just have to survive two more turns, but two of these keep jumping on the field. Uh, he'll probably attack with the most craziest one first, so uh, Tom Took. There you go. He has Stalwart, though, so he goes again. But at least we got rid of one of them. Um, I could destroy one of his manas. I could apply one progress on arrival, which is really good. Um, I think I will wait until next turn to quickly throw that. Oh, man, this is not good. This is not good. All right. The only one who's going to get one shot right now is probably this guy. Um, kind of want to keep him on the board. So we're going to... Yeah, I think I'll just throw a really, really good minion on the field. Two, one, six. Oh, yeah, look at this tank right here. Veteran Ash. Alright, you can go ahead and take him out. That's fine with me. That's okay. Okay, I guess we defend now. What's that? Deal one damage to every ally. Ugh. It's not the worst. Alright, we can keep guarding. What does this one do again? Gain one of that. So we definitely want to use this next turn. We, we can end. We can leave next turn. So this is good. I got two fate thingies. That's amazing. Um, our heroes aren't too crazy hurt, so we don't need to work towards restore our hero to full health. Maybe. I'm just trying to think about what to do here. Alright, let's keep guarding. Double guard. Uh-huh. Guard my minions. Someone loses one HP. I mean, one. That, that's not good. You don't want to use this either. I think we just save our mana, quite honestly. And then I can start attacking some things now. So get out of here. See you, you later. Sauron passes. That sucks for you. Oh, man. We should really... Oh, here's another guard. I'm going gonna, gonna to just attack this thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's it. All right. Oh, man. There's another orc. Same stats, but a different picture. No, no. It's the same picture. My bad. Okay. A little non-value there. Okay. Uthfak enters play. 4-7. Restore mana. I think he restored itself. And yeah, upkeep to 8 here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I had, I had this. Ooh, I put this in my deck. 2 progress. We'll do that next time. We have this creature to end it so this is the last turn 
Uh, so let's just try to minimize casualties. So how much damage does he have on the board? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight goes twice. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen. All right, we'll go ahead and start by doing this. He'll mostly, most likely attack with the strongest creature right there. Okay, now do we want to do anything like fainting? I mean, it's only two damage each, right? I think the first thing we'll do... Okay, so... I literally just have to hold two or one mana here. Uh, this gets rid of two progress, so we want to hold on to one mana, right? Okay, so let's see. Nothing gets killed on the board. No, this gets killed on the board by this. So we should block again using Milady. What's that? Gain one every time you play a card. Oh, whatever. We're going to leave... This turn, so it doesn't really matter here. Lose one. We can get another creature on the board. And then it'll take us to six, and we can have enough for the seventh one. So I think I'll do that. Another creature on the board seems okay. While I wait for him to see if he attacks. Okay, there we go. Right into there. So nothing gets insta-killed on the board. Uh, but we should still be guarding like crazy. If he passes, I'll easily be able to apply the progress. Oh, he applied the progress. Oh, but that's... I think if we travel, we still get attack, no? Right? I'm gonna apply one progress here. Okay, so that's gone. We can leave. We can leave, but he does start attacking, right? Is that why I remember? Alright, well... I'm gonna do this. This. Um... What happens here? Oh my god, let's just go. Should we just go? I'm gonna do this as well. Alright, let's go. Yep, okay, this is good. I protected this guy. We're good. Game over? What do you mean game over? Oh my god. I think definitely the threat level hit 50, correct? Oh no, we failed. Darn, I have to watch that back and see. But I'm pretty sure it reached freaking 50. So we failed easy mode. <laughs> we failed easy mode on this. Um, well, I guess that's the beauty of uh, solo campaigns. You can easily chillax and take your time. Um, actually, I did not even know if it hits 50, the, the game ends. And that's never happened, so that's the first time I've lost to that. So, uh, let me just show you what I had in my, in my current deck. So, I guess the game is like, you can't wait too long. I guess that was our mistake um, for that first, um, for the campaign part one. For the quest part one, we took way too long. We should have just left right away. So this is my deck. And I had some stuff. There we go. I had two of these in here. Lose two threats. And I'm not sure if we drew any of them. But that sucks. Oh, well. Eh, that's okay. We can just try again. On easy. And now we know to quickly rush a little bit more. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, uh, subscribe for daily videos. Uh, if you guys miss any of the Lord of the Rings Living Card game, um, there's a playlist down below. And I'm loving this so much that I really feel like that I want to replay Pathfinder's Adventures, the, um, the Steam card game. I haven't played that in such a long time that I feel like I want to make a new save file and wipe all that stuff and play it again. So if you guys enjoy card games, um, please watch out for that. I think I might do those daily videos until we get like new stuff on Lord of the Rings because I really enjoy single player like campaign card game stuff. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.